Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the finale of The Sleeping Princess and the Demon's Castle. So let's go ahead and get started on episode 11 in 3, 2, 1, go. <sighs> I don't want this to be over. Like, just how I felt with Kuma, I, I really don't want this show to be over too. This was a damn good show, and I hate the fact that we're at the end. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> huh? Is he close? How you doing, baby? <laughs> of course, with your cute, adorable Uzukinis. <laughs> Is that a word? Not really. I think I just made a new word, guys. <laughs> Besides, Princess, have you ever gone to a sleepover? <laughs> well, um, you know, her, her, her princess is Chino, yes. She's had, like, several sleepovers with Coco and the rest of the girls, but, um, then as her as best girl, Itsuki, yeah, with her sisters. I have this song, but it still makes me wonder if they made, like, a full, like, three-minute version of the song. I only have, like, the TV version, but still, it's good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, we're at a fork in the road, guys. Because I'm guessing straight is your castle and left is just <laughs> a loop around. A fucking roundabout. Donner. I know. You're just gonna get lost again. Aww. Hmm? Hey, <laughs> princess. <laughs> Guys, we're finally getting the Hesse of Belving! <laughs> Oh my god. Oh well. Yeah. <laughs> ah! Well, we usually play games, talk, eat food. 
stay up sometimes. Watch movies. Eat again. Eh, sometimes. Hell, sometimes us girls, we read a lot of fan fiction and we just <laughs> talk about that. That girl was like, fuck no. Bastian Valkyrie. Ah, that's so cute! <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's forbidden because she's like. She's not 10. She's at least gotta be like 14, 15, 16. Oh my god! <laughs> but because she is so short. Oh shit! <laughs> God. Oh, them donuts look good. Look at the cupcake. Oh my god, the cookie. I want a cookie. I have cookies in my freaking pantry. So, you know, after I'm done, because I think I'm probably going to eat dinner after this. Because I had Burger King, but I didn't eat my whole burger. <laughs> that thing is just <laughs> You shouldn't have said that. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Sorry, it was the key. <laughs> you know, she was so excited about it because it's just baby girl. It was a key slash sign up for Big Dream. Best girl, my favorite VA. Are we going to see her character today? We have only one more episode left. Oh, it's just, oh, it is about her. Oh, my God. Let's go. Yay. Oh, she's so adorable. I love her nails. As someone who is kind of getting her nails done, but I'm not really currently done. I still have to do the second half of my nails tomorrow with my mom, plus get them painted. She does seem a little desperate, but you know what? That's okay. I like her. No.
I, I know, because Cube Fan looks like 100% like her, except, you know, a dark version, an evil version. And I would have loved to see more of her in this damn series. Now y'all gonna make me want to buy the fucking manga just to see, like, how she is. Y'all could literally be twins. Oh my god! <laughs> oh. Whoever plays Cube, I mean, like, mm. Ma'am, your Chino is showing a lot in this episode once again. That's easy. <laughs> yeah, poor Cuba. No, no, you pick the right person, honey. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. Oh hell no. No shit. Mm -mm, I don't know. <laughs> oh god, we're going to die today. Oh, God. 
she about to wake up as Hesia, guys. She'd be like, oh my god, that was a weird dream. What the hell happened? Oh god. This girl has died so many freaking times in this series. Hey, princess, what's up? You want to sit down for the meeting? Okay. Time to check her dreams. Oh my god, is this a Mario level? <laughs> no, it's Donner. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> yeah, but she doesn't appreciate him. She thinks he's all annoying. Oh God. Yeah. Was she just like thinking about him before she went to sleep? Oh damn. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
Oh shit. Yeah. You dropped it. Uh-huh. Oh shit. Nice job. You just fucked up everything, didn't you? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's so obvious, guys. You just need to figure it out. Yes. Yes. You're close. Donner. Yeah. Uh -huh. There we go. Good job, guys. Thank God. Not only Kate, give her everything. She's had a hard day. Oh my God. It's okay. In her book, you know, she did a good job. Snow. This is a fucking cute episode. Honestly, every episode of this damn show is fucking cute. I can't. The fact is that, you know, the fucking Demon King dropped the paper that freak our princess, our little lovely, adubly, adubly, <laughs> lovely, adorable Chino baby has signed so many for the teddy bears. And then, you know, hey, here, take one for yourself as well. You know, I'm gonna be famous one day ish. <laughs> And it came to bite her in the ass. That's why you should never always sign everything. Because next thing you know, you never know what the fuck it's going to be used for. <laughs> the fact is that everybody also finally figured out that Donner is her fiance. <laughs> you know, you want to talk about how long it took someone to figure out something. Let's talk about the cast that were on High School Host Club and how it took them a whole damn episode. And Tamaki was the last one, the longest one, to figure out that Haruhi was a damn girl. Like, oh my god. It was interesting to go into her dreams because, of course, going from the preview from last week's episode, we all knew this was going to be going into her dreams and seeing what the hell she was dreaming about. They literally made a Mario theme level. Except it was cute bears and such. She looked so cute. But to have Donner as, you know, the villain type or the the person who was annoying the hell out of her makes the most sense. I mean, of course, she doesn't have the best relationship with Donner. I can't believe we have one episode left, which sucks, because I really, you know, I want to see if this show could possibly get a season two, um, and such, it makes you wonder, like, how much they probably had, like, chapter-wise left to complete with this show, I'm guessing it maybe could have still been a lot, I'm not 100% sure, percent sure on source material-wise and everything, but, I mean, also, having Cuba in this episode, she is a fucking adorable child, and I love her so much, and she needs to be protected from <laughs> our princess, because you never know what the hell our princess is capable of when she has an idea. I mean, you know, the things that our princess has done for the last few weeks, hell, let's go back to last week, where this girl was like, I'm about to break out this damn castle, go to the human realm for a fucking pillow. You know, that's the craziest thing I've ever seen a child do in an anime before, because, I mean, you know, you think she would have done something for some food, you know, but, you know, when it comes to sleep... 
she she queen she is the fucking queen there is no one else there will never probably be anyone else like her and such and honestly that's just fucking adorable but i love her so much i just want merch of my child so that i can just have like because i bought <laughs> i bought two picture frames for like some of the anime merch that i bought and everything and i want like more anime merch so that i can frame it and stuff and be like yes look at my collection <laughs> and of course like from this series i i've kind of been choosing and I don't think I, I might have to wait a month um because I'm spending money on one of my games that I'm currently saving up for gems because my best girls are coming out next month but I'm gonna wait a whole year because I don't have enough and I don't think I'm gonna get enough by the time uh we get there um <laughs> there are two plushies that I kind of want that I'm deciding it's the bear and then it's this seal the seal one actually comes in a lot bigger one. It looks so fucking cute. I'm like, I want it so bad. But yeah, honestly, I, this episode was really good. I just hate the fact that we're going to the finale and I'm not ready to watch it. But go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for the final episode. Okay, final episode in three, two, one, go. Hopefully we get to see her mom today i mean come on please best girl christmas mm -hmm. no I mean, you know, she is still a kid slash teenager. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, she did that last week. <laughs> Baby, I'm gonna see your mom. Of course, I mean, Saya will wanna go see her mom. This is she know we're talking about. Oh my god, she wants to see the the woman who is playing her mom, the queen. Oh my god, Sarah, I mean, hi, I mean, freaking out on the Blue Mountain, and any other character who she's playing in any damn series that I watch. Kayane and Takagaki, the queen, the queen of Idol Master Cinderella Girls. But she's like, yes, I'm going to go home and I want to see my mom. That's it. That's all I want. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> That's all I wanted for 12 episodes for six weeks is to see her mom, not the back of her head or anything, or, you know, kind of showing the front, but covering her eyes, you know, I just want to see her mom and see how pretty her mom is because we know, like, freaking Saya, she's gorgeous and she's a cute, a cutie button thing. I love a cutie button thing. Mm -hmm. The worlds I'm making today. She's cute as a fucking button. So, you know, if she's adorable, her mom has to be gorgeous. I'm sorry. Like, plus the fact that she's played by my favorite BA. Like, so, uh. <laughs> <laughs> of course, wouldn't you guys be? Shit. No. Make up something.
the one thing that I always love about them is that he is so weak for her. Yeah. People are going to have an uproar just to get you back, especially your mom. <gasps> it would be really funny if Donner and the other two heroes actually come to the demon castle while she's on her way home. You might as well just let her go. You can't say no to her. Remember, she's Hesse as Iski, so mm. Oh, of course. <gasps> well, damn. Oh, and look at her bed. It's so pretty. Oh, do you want to take them with you? <gasps> no, that's you, Mom. <laughs> Oh, you wanted to go. Oh. She about to fall asleep, guys. Mm-hmm. <laughs> of course. It's a bed and it, guys. Oh shit. Oh, her room! Aurora, if you fall for that, look how pretty she is. <laughs> ah, that's Aoyam, the Blue Mountain best girl for you. Of course, the queen of Idol Masha Shin Roller Girls would be <laughs> just as silly as her daughter. <laughs> yeah, and then you need to get the fuck up out of here. <laughs> no. You have to save her now. Yeah. I mean, you could have just left Suya, like, there for, like, one second instead of switching her. And then you could have came back the next night and taken her. Hmm? Her shoes. Oh, my God! You look so cute, baby! Yeah. 
Yes, but she looks gorgeous as fuck. Let her have this moment. She needs her princess moment. Hmm. Mm. Honestly, I think so too. No. <laughs> Stop it. Mm -hmm. Okay, what exactly is his weakness? We don't have the time. <laughs> yeah, some underwear. Bruh, how can you? Look how big you are! Because you want to hear it. Magical girl, miracle cute. Is that supposed to be pretty here? Because of the fact is her voice actress was in pretty here in Kitty Kitty Pretty Here Alone Mode as the queen. Yeah! <laughs> of course that's a pretty cure reference. <laughs> this ain't cure C1, this is cure perfect now. That's cute. Aww. <laughs> so fucking cute. I love her so much. She's so protective. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, that's a good definition for her. <laughs> oh, 
Holy shit. <laughs> Poor baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the pretty cute story was the best story, of course. Well, what time is it, though? <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Her shoes. I want her shoes. <laughs> Ma'am, how the hell can you see? It's okay. She just needs to be rested. Our princess has come home! you guys This is an adult baby right now. I'm like, oh my god, she's so precious. Poor baby. She's not going to be able to do this.
I mean, it's for the best. She belongs in the human realm. No. What the hell? What the fuck? <laughs> she gonna go out as him, okay? I am kidnapping her again. Uh huh. That makes the most sense, though. <laughs> it's all right, Ali Yuki. We all knew it was gonna happen again eventually. I didn't think this so soon, but. <laughs> knows in the manga if she's even like eventually gone home and stayed home <laughs> I mean cause like in a way this is her second home away from home and she's oh my god <laughs> and she's enjoyed it here a lot so it would have been weird if she had a went back to the human realm <laughs> I can't this is so fucking cute <laughs> okay so final thoughts on the show this was so fucking good. This was very underrated. Oh my god, honey! <laughs> yeah, did you get the underwear? Oh shit. Well, at least she got to see her mom! Oh, no? Oh, it's so fucking cute. Yes! Night night, baby. Oh, even the seal too. Stop. <laughs> that was so cute. This was such a good show. I mean, the fact that it had a lot of people. No. Oh. A lot of my favorite seiyus in this show. This was really good. Honestly, this was probably very underrated and such. Just as much as Kuma Kuma Bear and Akudama Drive. Because I honestly will say that those were the top three um, underrated shows. Because as someone who reacted to Akudama Drive when that aired. And then watched these two shows back to back. He was like, damn, like, yeah. I didn't really, especially for these two. I did not see a lot of people talk about 
um both kuma kuma bear and sleeping princess and you know as some like i said as someone who reacted to akudama drive still but when akudama drive finished everybody of course was talking the crap about the show and eventually it won anime of the year but honestly it was really sweet i love the fact that you know um <laughs> her uh princess says um her uh say you had honestly the best job in this i mean she had really fun i know i know she's had fun probably with like any role she's played but i think this role and then maybe like her as chino and a little bit about uh, ha uh, uh hestia and when she was in kid and kid a pretty girl mode those are probably like the top four shows where i think she's had like the most fun same thing i mean even in the quintessential quintuplets i, I mean like Everybody, every say you, I think, who does a job in, in this, you know, industry has an amazing time. They take these characters, like, to heart and stuff and emotion and everything. They put their everything into the roles. And I think everybody did a damn good job. Even my freaking favorite VA, even though she didn't really finally make an appearance until the last damn episode. But her character is uber pretty and I love her so much. And probably in the next few weeks, probably after my best girl's birthday for Akadama Drive, I probably, <laughs> knowing myself, I will probably end up changing my profile picture to her, indicating, because, yeah, because if you know me and such, like, you know me, her, <laughs> Saudi Hayumin Sensei is literally my number one favorite VA, and anything that she's in, she's usually either typical Typically, like, my set, my first favorite character, like, number one, I don't care, like, whoever else shows up in the damn show, I'm like, no, uh-uh, she's already best girl, or she's probably, like, very close to, like, my second favorite character and stuff, and so any time in any show that she's in, I, I freak out, I fangirl, like, a lot, I think if I had to did a reaction to, um... I, when I did Magical Girl Rising Project, because that was, like, my second thing of hers, but if I had it done, um the uh maho girls pretty girl oh your girl would have gone fucking nuts on that show but i eventually i did that with like freaking idol message and other girls but yeah i really enjoyed the hell out of this show watching this for six weeks straight this was so effing good i hate the fact that we're over with this because it just still seems like there is more to the story but we're just not going to see it and it's a possibility that they could give this show a season two i'm guessing it has to take a couple of years and it's like that i mean you know, look at the freaking, um, the Demon Lord Isekai series. That finally officially got a fucking second season. So you can't always really think, oh, this show is good. It's never going to get a season two. Never think that because you never know when the hell a show is going to get a season two. I mean, we're, we're in the year where, like, shows are getting reboots. Like, ever since Fruits Basket got their fucking reboot. It's a possibility that, like, any anime, because your girl is still fucking waiting for the damn day or a high school host club gets their damn reboot, and we get to see the whole story between them and Maid Sama, because I really enjoyed Maid Sama a lot. I, I love, like, getting to see things that, you know, we're going to get the complete story. Look at Shaman King. That officially started airing last week, and yeah, even though that's stuck in Netflix jail... It's getting the true fucking story and how possibly the creator wanted to end it when he left it in a abrupted ending when he finished the manga. But yeah, this series is really good and I'm honestly going to miss it just as much if not more between this and Kuma Kuma because these two shows were just so freaking good back to back. I, I loved watching these two shows every single week. Whether it was on a Saturday or a Sunday or a Monday, it was just good. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards this series, The Sleeping Princess and the Demon Castle. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially, y'all, next Wednesday for whatever the heck I'm watching next. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.